Hello again and a very big welcome to this COVID-19 update for you and your community here in the Basque Coast, presented by Basque Coast Health and sponsored by Wanthaggy Miners Dispensary. In this update, the latest on testing for COVID-19 locally. Who can do it and where? And with you is Kirsten Weinzel, Operations Manager of Bass Coast Health. Hello, Kirsten. Hello, Kevin. Thanks. So, Kirsten, what is the latest on testing for COVID-19 uh, in the Bass Coast? So, currently, um, Kevin, at Bass Coast Health, we have two sites of testing. We have uh, our CAS site at the um, Health Hub, and we also have one Faggy, where we have our assessment clinic. And uh, how's the testing been going? Yeah, so extremely busy, certainly with this last two weeks of the swabbing blitz. We've swabbed over 1,200 at the uh, One Thaggy site and over 400 at the Cow site. You must be happy about those uh, Very numbers. Happy. Yeah. Very happy with the response. So if uh, let's go through it. If somebody actually tests positive, how are they informed and what happens after that? Yeah, so we keep a really strong case list and anyone that's tested positive through the pathology services in Melbourne gets contacted by the Department of Human Services. Mm -hmm. And how are they informed? So they'll be contacted directly by phone from the Department of Human Services and they'll be giving them clear direction on, on what they need to do next. And what is that? Do they come into a specific area of Bass Coast Health? No, it depends on their symptoms. Um, you know, their symptoms are mild and they can be managed at home do, um, and have 14 days of self-isolation. Mm -hmm. Certainly if symptoms worse, they come and seek more medical care. And who can be tested? So there's a clear matrix of who and uh, who can be tested. So we have all those that are patients that are symptomatic of respiratory symptoms, such as sore throat, runny nose, cough, shortness of breath, they will be tested. And then there's another cohort of group that's the asymptomatic frontline workers. So we encourage those frontline workers to come up and get tested as okay. part of the blitz. So you've mentioned the, the testing stations. What's the procedure if somebody wants to be tested? So the procedure at Bass Coast Health at One Faggy is that you present to the front of the hospital. At the front of the hospital, you're gonna be um, greeted by our clinical navigator, which is an experienced nurse who will determine whether you can go to our asymptomatic clinic or whether you need to come into our assessment clinic for, to see a doctor. And uh, what uh, is the, the mood of people when they come? Are they apprehensive or uh, have they seen enough of the testing on TV to know uh, what's going to happen to them? Certainly I think there's a degree of apprehension, um, but there's, you know, the, the clinical navigator, while we have that senior nurse at the front, is actually to re reassure that the patients fronting up and that um, they'll get seen as soon as we can. I can imagine there'd be a degree of uh, satisfaction after the uh, test has been completed, not only on the recipient, but also the person who's done the test to know there's one more person. Oh, absolutely. I, I think we've, we've really thrown um, the, a core team at this who are really um, passionate about, you know, assisting um, the government in getting this 100,000 swabs to give us a really good sense of what the community transmission is like. Right. Yeah, and I think, you know, it's a, it's a real um, show of the community's support of the program with the amount of people turning up that meeting criteria for testing. And I suppose uh, there'd be a word of mouth of people uh, telling their friends and neighbours across the fence, of course, of keeping the physical distance, that uh, they've been for a test, it wasn't that bad, and you know, why not go? Yeah, and that's certainly that's absolutely, absolutely the key message. Um, but it's also around the key message is that there are going to be core cool groups of uh, people that arrive that perhaps don't meet criteria. That you know, the, the departments are really clear that we want to make sure that we're, we're capturing the ones that they can that are determined that we need to follow up on. So, just on that, you can't go just for the sake of going, no, you have to have yeah. something in you to that that, that yeah, uh, so, qualifies. So, you need to have you need to have symptoms of a respiratory. Um, you know, your sore throat, your runny nose, but then there's the cohort that's asymptomatic. So you, you, they're encouraging healthcare workers, police, frontline police, um, agricultural workers, supermarket. They're the cohort of group that they're wanting to look at. That they're right at the front line with people and um, testing them as asymptomatic. Okay, finally, uh, Kirsten, how long is the current testing regime going to last? So the current blitz, it has been going for nearly 10 days now, and it's due to, at this stage, Sunday is the last day. Right. Um, but certainly our assessment clinic will be continuing on on Monday. Full of information. Who would have thought we would have got to this stage in life where we're going to be tested for it, yeah. uh, fronting up at the hospital in your car? Hey, Kirsten, thanks for being with us. Thank you. Kirsten Weisel, Operations Manager at Bass Coast Health. Thanks for being with us and thanks for sharing us on Facebook. And until I see you again for another COVID-19 update, take care.